So this types of questions almost come up in paper four and they always have four marks. So if you don't know how to do them, you're going to lose a lot of marks. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do these types of questions. So let's read this. Figure 3.1 shows water in a river moving parallel to the river bank at four meters per second and a canoe traveling in the river. So here is the canoe and it's traveling, it's traveling at 2.5 meters per second relative to the water and the water is moving at 4 meters per second. So we're told that the canoe travels at 2.5 meters per second relative to the water and heads at an angle of 38 degrees. Now this given angle is very important to the river bank. Draw a scale diagram to determine the canoe's resultant velocity and state the scale you used. So first we have to come up with a scale. So we have 2.5 meters per second and 4 meters per second. So what we can do is we can say that 1 centimeter is equals to 2. 2 meters per second. So the scale is 1 centimeter is equals to 2 meters per second. And then now we actually have to draw it. So the way we draw it, okay, so we have to be accurate when we draw it. So firstly, we, it should be at 38 deg degrees. So we draw at 2.5 meters per second at 38 degrees. So 2.5 meters per second is the same as 1.25 centimeters. So we're going to do a 1.25 centimeter line at 38 degrees. So here's our line, 1.25 approximately. And then we have to draw a horizontal line which is going to present the 4 meters per second. So the horizontal line is going to be 2 centimeters because if 1 centimeter is going to be if 1 centimeter is going to be equals to 2 meters per second that means 4 meters per second is going to be 2 centimeters. So we're going to draw a 2 centimeter horizontal line. Now the scale could be a bit bigger but then it's fine. So 2 centimeters. And now we draw another line at 38 degrees, which is also 1.25 centimeters. So it's going to be 1.25. And then finally, we can join these two lines. And then as you can see, it's, it's going to form a parallelogram. So now lastly, this is 30 degrees, this angle over here 30 degrees. So what we have to measure is this this line over here, the length of this line over here. So once we have measured this length, that's going to be our resultant force. So this line is going to be 3 centimeters. So this line is going to be 3 centimeters. So if 1 centimeter is the same as 2 meters per second that means 3 centimeters is going to be the same as 6 meters per second so the magnitude of the resultant velocity is going to be 6 meters per second and then we have to find the direction of the resultant force so that basically means 
from the ang angle of the river bank. So that basically means this, the angle between the resultant force and this line. So that means this angle. This angle over here. So we should measure the angle with a protractor and it's going to be 15 degrees. 15 degrees. And then that's how you get the full four marks.